So if you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you are not in school right now, either because you have spring break like I do, or you are taking online classes because of this coronavirus. So I wanted to make a video that would help you guys with some testing and studying strategies that will help you improve your ACT score at least three or four points while you have a bit of an extended break during this outbreak, epidemic, pandemic, whatever you want to call it that's happening right now. So there's a few things that we're going to go over. It's, I'm going to keep this a very simple and short video, but just give you guys a few tips so that you can see the extra work that you should be doing to optimize the improvement that you make in this amount of time that you have. Also, if you guys want six free practice exams and a tutoring session with one of our tutors, be sure to check out the link below where we have all those resources available. So the first thing that you want to do is increase the amount of practice that you do every week. First thing is increase practice. Ideally, you just increase it by 50%, something like that. So if you usually take one practice exam per week, try to take one and a half. That means that obviously you're going to be breaking it up into sections, which is actually a good thing. I recommend you do that. But try to increase the amount of practice you do. Maybe instead of just taking one exam per week, like I said, you take that one exam and then you add one or two uh, section exams for the two sections, one or two sections that you are struggling most in. So that's one way to go about it, or you can do it any two sections that you choose randomly. But the idea is that you practice more, so you can get more improvement out of every week um, and just spend more time with the ACT exam. I typically recommend students to practice a little bit every day. So perhaps on Monday you do an English exam, Tuesday you do a math, Wednesday you do something else. So you do one section per day, you do a little bit every single day, and you look over your weaknesses and your mistakes that you're making on that specific exam that you took that day, and you do this exercise every single day and you'll improve a little bit every single day, every week, and that'll help you to build you know, as you go. So I know that some of you guys might have the ACT coming up in a couple weeks, or maybe in a month and a half or so, so the strategy still works, you're just increasing the ante on how much you study every week and making the most of it. Same thing applies even if you have eight months before your next test or you have a month and a half. Second thing you really wanna emphasize doing, and this is regardless of whether you have extra time to study or not, is you wanna identify the weaknesses and mistakes that you're making in every single exam. Obviously, you have mistakes. You have uh, skills that you are just not really good at when it comes to the ACT exam, and you need to learn these skills if you wanna improve your score. So how do you learn these skills? Well, if you're not taking any courses or anything like that, the free method is to just look at your practice exams, see what you're doing wrong. Is there, are there certain questions that you keep getting wrong? Are there certain skills that are giving you trouble? Look over your practice exams, try to understand your mistakes to the best of your ability, and make as much improvement just through looking at the correct answer options and understanding what the heck is going on. Because if you don't try to understand what the heck is going on, you're gonna make the same mistakes again and again, and you're just gonna stand in place like a car that's doing like a burnout. You're just gonna be turning your wheels, doing a lot of work, but you're not getting anything out of it. You're just standing in the same place and not making any improvement. So make sure you look over your weaknesses, look over your mistakes. I would say that you should do a group study session, but you have to do social distancing right now because there's a coronavirus, so you don't wanna like die. So um, make sure that you make the most of the learning that you have um, or the practice that you have done and the practice that you keep doing. And I should say that you can also like look over your uh, weaknesses and mistakes from past practice exams as well. If you still have copies of those, if you still have the results of the past exams that you've taken, then please make sure to look at them because that's more learning that you can do. It's not just about practicing, but it's about looking at your practice exams and learning uh, as much as you can from those exams. So make sure you make the most of that exercise. This is just a reminder that you do that. Third thing is to actually understand the skills that you're weakest in. So the first thing was to practice. Second thing was to identify the skills. The third thing is to understand those skills. You need to master those skills. You need to learn them to actually be able to perform well in those skill areas on test day. So how do you learn them? There's a few resources that you have. The first resource you have is us. We provide free tutoring sessions to all students. If you just head to the link down below, it's for subscribers, it's for viewers. Head to that link below. You can schedule a free 30 minute tutoring session with us, with me, with one of our other tutors, and we will help you learn any skills that we can within 30 minutes and set you up for even more tutoring down the road. If you want to use us as a resource, we'll provide you with, we'll go over practice exams, help you understand your weaknesses, mistakes, anything like that. Again, it's free. All you have to do is head to the link below and we'll provide you with all the information that you need to improve your specific score and your specific skill set because your skill set is different from every other student. You have a unique skill set and we'll, we'll work on improving that with you. Second resource you have to understanding the skills that you are weakest in is that you look at the correct answer options for all of the ACT exams that you take. I kind of already talked about this, but learn as much as you can from the correct answer options. Third thing is you look at our 52 ACT math skills video series. Obviously this is only for the ACT math section, but we have the same video series that's going to continue for English reading and science. We're going to go over all the skills, all the question types that will show up on each individual exam. Right now that video series is already up for the ACT math section. You'll find it linked somewhere in a card or down below and that discusses all 52 ACT math skills, gives you examples that we work through, and we discuss how you can master these problems and the, the strategies and tips that are around them. So 
make sure you look at that video series to understand as many of the skills as possible. A lot of students on the ACT struggle with ACT math because they don't know all the skills. And that's totally fine, there are a lot of skills, but if you want to master them, this is one place to go. The last resource that I'm going to mention is that you head to our website where we have full problem sets for each individual skill on the ACT exam. So problem sets for all the English skills, problem sets for all the math skills, same for reading, same for science. We go over all the problem sets, we diagnose your weaknesses through diagnostic quizzes, and then we provide you with problem sets for the specific skills that you are struggling with the most. So take a look at that, it's also linked below and that'll help you with improving the specific things that I talked about before, your unique skill set. It'll help you improve on those things that you are struggling with. So we have this already up for math. The English, reading, and science are going to be up within the next week. So I'll link those down below as soon as they are up, but be sure to check that out as well because that'll help you improve your score in those specific areas that you are struggling the most in. And the last thing you should do is to just keep practicing and repeating the process. So you should practice, identify mistakes, understand what's going on, and then repeat the process. Practice, identify mistakes, understand what the heck's going on, repeat the process, because that's how you improve on the ACT. It's repetition. You need to keep getting used to the problems, keep getting used to the way the exam is testing you, keep getting used to the timing and the, the time crunch, and that's how you get better at the ACT exam. At the end of the day, it just comes down to how many hours you put into practicing, studying, learning the skills, and what's going on. So do all that, and that should help you improve your score a few points in the corona time. I'll leave you guys with that. Stay safe, don't get sick. Make sure you guys practice social distancing, because... We don't want to spread this virus, and um, good luck on the ACT. Again, I will say, free practice exams linked below. There are free tutoring sessions linked below as well. There is uh, a link to our problem sets for each individual skill linked below as well. So a lot of resources available to you guys, and they're all available remotely. There's no social contact. So all online, check that out. It should help you guys.